What in the world would I mean is Dre Wise coming out like this? Dre Wise topic. <clears throat> topic is that I posted on my Facebook page letting the, the media know uh, what I'm discussing as a topic on my YouTube channel called Dre Wise Topics. Now, topic is if I stayed in the game more than 20 years, you know, as far as is basketball, football, boxing, rapping, singing, and I've been in the game 20 years, I let it go. Find something else to get into as far as starting a, a business of my own and finding people to work around, as, have them as employees and, and managers, and, you know what I'm saying, and build that business up from ground up. You know, and I can talk about this as far as music. I mean, it's artists out here today, you know, been in the game more than 15 years, pushing 20 years and stuff. And these guys that rap, sing, you know, and they've been in the game for a long period of time. And... I think that's very stupid to keep continue to do this as far as keep rapping and singing because you've been in the game so long. Because to me, you don't got nothing else to talk about, you know. So, why do it? You made all that money rapping and singing, selling and touring and showing up on shows and appearing on radio station interviews. You're basically being shown and being seen. So, come away from that. You know? Come away from that. I mean, you made all that money for a reason. You know what I'm saying? To start something else. Build that up from the ground up. Get people around you for as employees and a manager and management and stuff like that. Do that. You know what I'm saying? True enough, you can do have your own label. Of course. But have different businesses and um, stuff like that to get into. But for guys that and women that do that as far as want to rap and sing for a long period of time, for forever, you know what I'm saying, you don't know how to get into something else. You know what I'm saying? That's all you know how to do is rap and sing. Cause that's all you know how to do. And that's why you go bankrupt, you know? Because you keep spinning and spinning from that particular profession you're doing, you know? You know, you have to get into something else. That's what all that money is there for. So, about basketball too. When you get into the NBA, you know, you've been playing basketball over 15 years, approaching 20, still playing. And you made all that money playing basketball, playing basketball. Run up and down that coat, jumping up and down, diving, packing, and things like that. All that money, same way. You made all that money, you know, get into something else. Magic Johnson is a, pro, is a prime example. That man got him a restaurant, and I think he got him a, uh, a movie theater, you know. He found him something else to do other than basketball, because he couldn't play basketball like that because he was suffering from that disease which is killing him today is HIV. So you have to get into something else. You know, football is the same way. You make all that money, run up and down that field, catching them passes that's all, all up in the air, back and forth, tackling, same way. You know, boxing too. You've been boxing, knocking out, jabbing, doing all this, and you know what I'm saying? Made all that money from win or lose match, you know. So, it's crazy. And about basketball. And that's why you see them guys always hurt like that. Getting injured or sometimes they suffering from some exhaustion. And have to have IV, IVs in their arms and stuff like that. Because they play too much basketball, you know. And the good thing that Kobe Bryant realized that uh, it's time for me to leave up off this coat, you know. Because these young guys coming out of college between the age of 18, 19, and some of them guys in college don't really finish college. They get a call from the NBA, and in the NBA call them, they leave college alone. Some graduate from college, you know, 
18, 19, early 20s, 21, uh, 22 and 20, stuff like that. And them, them, got them, old, them older guys that's in the NBA, you know, play with these young guys, and the older guys can't tolerate them, them um, young guys, you know, because them young guys bring them something new, and they fresh legs, and they rejuvenated, you know, so them old guys got to get off that coat, you know. Kobe Bryant, he ain't, Kobe Bryant's not old in general, but he's old as a basketball player. LeBron James is next, you know. Tim Duncan should leave up off that coat, you know what I'm saying. That man approaching 40 years old, and that's, you, you, you got to hang it up, you know. So, I like Tim Duncan, I like Kobe Bryant, and I'm, I like LeBron James. But, you know, when it's, when it's time, it's enough, it's enough, it's enough. You made all that money for a reason, you know. So, because uh, like I said, I can say for myself, if I, if like, in music, that's what I'm doing. Like, that's what I love is music, and I'm pushing the 20-year mark in music, <laughs> I'm hanging it up, you know what I'm saying? I may uh, do a little show or something, do a little tour and rap my hits, my hits and stuff like that, but still try to make a comeback, you get hell no. Because you know what I'm saying? Because these kids today don't want to hear that same rap style I'm doing. No, you know what I'm saying? I start me a, a label, a restaurant, movie theater, or do something, you know what I'm saying? For real. But these so called rappers and singers today do not understand that at all. They still want to hold on to the sick thought, I, I'm going to keep doing this and doing this forever. You know what I'm saying? That's why you see him in acting. Will Smith is a prime example. When he left rap alone and got into acting, Fresh Prince of Bel Air and, and um and all the movies he he done. You know what I'm saying? So his name his name is already out there. So it's all about how you brand your name. You just can't brand your name on a particular uh entertainment music or basketball or boxing you can brand your name on other things you try to get into at different uh venues and stuff you know so <laughs> it's crazy it's slip celebrities on tv right now still want to have make a comeback and stuff want to be shown and want to be seen and, and they get upset if they ain't shown and ain't seen you know what i'm saying that jada picking is a prime example she got upset because they're not acknowledging black folks i'll tell you one thing Hollywood is not acknowledging blacks anyway. They're not treating blacks fair anyways. You already done your thing in acting. You an actress, Jenny Pickett. You already done your thing as far as uh, dominate the uh, actress scene as a black female uh, actress. You already dominate. So who gives a rat's behind if they not acknowledge you? What it is, you're not shown. And what it is, you're not seen. So who cares? You already got awards. You got money. Time to do something else. You know what I'm saying? Hell with that. Try to boycott the uh the Oscars and stuff like that. <laughs> I got news flash for you. Hollywood, like I said, is not in favor with blacks anyways. So get used to it. Dre wise topic. You know, you can express what I just said in the comment. You know, I'll read it, but I'm not going to reply. So like, share, subscribe. You know, I am Dre Wise, you know what I'm saying? How I spell Dre Wise is D-R-E-W-I-Z-E. Y'all have a nice day. Peace.